this recruitable population, we don't need it right now. Our troops are marching towards Asia. A lot of stuff going on in the world. Russia is fully focusing on the Far Eastern Front since they figure out their uh, civil war. Europe is in the middle of it. <clears throat> Looks like middle Europa will win though. And uh, we are watching these developments with utmost attention and uh, we are hoping for a balanced world order to emerge out of this mess. Though, we are very happy with the support we've gotten and uh, we will try to make sure that our allies survive. The Turkestan Khan had declared war on Persia and Russia. How many divisions do they have? 15 to 24? Oh, that's really ballsy of them. By the way, Persia's fighting against the Ottoman, so this is a very good time to, for the Turks and Canada to use it. But they will distract the Russians here and force them to read that, that word. Ooh, Liberia attacked on them. Canada wants an aggression, sure. Uh, we have new research. Ooh, okay. Doctrines. Hell yes. Uh, Artillery recovery rate or support company soft attack and org. I'll go with integrated support. Our troops are nearly here. And, um. Oh, what? Reports from London confirm that the capital of the Union of Britain has been captured by advancing Dutch troops after long staged battles across the Thames River. British forces put up stiff resistance, hoping to delay Dutch forces for as long as possible, but were eventually beaten back. For the first time since William the Conqueror, London has fallen to a foreign invader. The atmosphere in the city is heavy with gunfire still ringing in the night as the British forces long left, leaving only protesters and Dutch military police fighting in the streets. Romania capitulated. Whoa. The Dutch doing some crazy moves here against the Union of Britain. Romania is gone. Austria is getting bigger and bigger. Can the Dutch even hold to this? Uh, I mean, unless their allies sent more units, I doubt it, but they very well might because the situation here is looking in the favor of Germany. The German Empire. Alright, so our first troops are here at the Yellow Sea. We're very excited. Our allies must be happy to see us as well. They're lining and moving up to the front line. After a long journey across the uh, Pacific. building new factories, our production lines are looking way better, although we need to improve things, it's not going to be enough. I'll also try to do uh, one of the naval research stuff, like we said we wanted light cruisers, but we don't have the second level, yeah, let's try to get that, and uh, actually there's going to be a research done soon, 8 days, yeah, we'll look into that. No divisions in basic training, okay let's change that up. What's our... Oh, we still have minus on two things. So, let's hold up on that. And I'm going to reduce this equipment line by two factories. So we can uh, spread them out a bit more and get more factories to support equipment that needs it more. And these are going to come in soon, so that will help our needs. So we have low supplies here. That's not good. Um, yeah, it's because we don't have this port here that belongs to uh, the triads. I'll try to position myself at the front and uh, stabilize, regain org, 
And then I'll push with the allies, uh, with my allies across. Oh, so there's been a peace settlement with Austria and the Belgrade Pact. That's good. What's happening here? Oh, so the Germans have taken over the London section. This is good though, because they can put more troops, I suppose. We can modify government. We don't have a head of military intelligence, people. Um, we can go... Uh, we're currently social conservatives. We can go market liberals. We can go to the Republican Party. Uh, let's... Let's try to do that. Market liberals. Let's find some allies from the Republicans. Decryption and research time. I'm always down for research time. Uh, I'll go for research time. There you go. New research. We said we'll do uh, light cruisers. So let's do light cruiser level 2. And do we have any bonuses that we have to spend? No. Okay, so... What are we lacking in? Let's do mountain infantry and then try to make some mountain infantry units after we get the equipment problem figured out. Uh, on this side, I wanted to do Japanese friendship. Or wait, 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 wait. We can go... Not really sure. We can continue Japanese friendship and just get the tech tree. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just continue Japanese friendship and then, f like, you know, get the best relations we can with Japan. Alright, my troops are uh, getting in position. The equipment issue is not great. I wish we could build uh, infrastructure here, but we cannot. We'll see. Uh, we'll try to handle the situation. The Ottomans are... Holding and gaining territory a bit, I guess. A lot of wars going on everywhere. Germany's, yeah, they're clearly winning here. Italy has bounced back. They're trying to close this invasion gap. London is still under. Middle Europa. United States of Greater Australia, Austria wants to send us six divisions of volunteers. Sure. They are social conservatives as well. That's why they like me. But they don't have a big world vision like Japan, so I'll stick to my Japanese allies. Kingdom of Spain is winning against Carlists. Yeah, the supply situation here is, is really bad. Um, but once this unit also moves up and that unit is stationed, I'm going to start charging so we can open up this front line. We need more supplies. This cannot you know, go on forever. Uh, I'd rather finish King so that Japan can focus on Russia. Wow, yeah, Commune of France is going to go down. This is not going to take long. Um, so many wars. So many wars happening right now. Switzerland joining the third... In yeah, they're in the third international. They're also a front line there. Intense, intense battles being fought all over. Flanders Valonia is also in Middle Europa. This is not looking good for the CSA because they'll be... Oh, they're not in a faction. Interesting, they tried to stay out of it. Well, good call, I would say. Okay, so are our troops ready? Let's check. They're moving up. Okay, let's start a uh, little push here and see how it goes. And once we open it up and we need more micro, I'll do more micro and, you know, uh, win with better ratios. So armor-wise, I don't think we can do armor yet, but we should try to figure out our fighters. So I'll go for fighters. 
Ooh, our attacks here in the south were very successful. We're breaking through. Papas Polite's division with gangs, Minnesotans, and Hart's men. Really pushing hard here. It's like a little Blitzkrieg operation, nearly. <laughs> okay. Let's check on the other fronts. Okay, there are other invasions happening here. The United Baltic Republic trying to join in on the fun. Against the United Britain. Yeah, I, it, it looks increasingly bad for Commune of France. Uh, I don't know how long they can hold. It was really bad for them to fight Italy as well. Weekend day, so now they have to split their armies. Austrian troops have arrived. Protecting our soil. Okay, so the attack here is go going wonderful. Uh, really kicking them out from these sides. So who else are we fighting against? And Shang King Tinguo. Him? Yeah. Yep. So we'll have to go past here. Yeah, no, that's, this is some hard territory here. I hope we can figure it out. So we've taken the river. That's great. Now let's push west. My goal is to connect to the Japanese territories here towards Nanjing and then push you know towards the hinterland that's way more easy for us but it's going good like we have we're very successful I don't even have to intervene much here yeah I don't have to intervene at all um, we'll try to do this as much as we can until we reach you know the mountain range here and then my sole purpose will be going down south towards Heifei and Nanjing from the back and try to connect to the Japanese territories here. I just want to, you know, talk with Alexander Patch and he's been advising us to uh, expand the front line to get better supplies. So I'm listening to his uh, suggestions. Our great general uh, oh, the German Empire has taken over this territory completely. This is great, because this, this, yeah, this will assure that this invasion is not going to die. Uh, I mean, overall, uh, we said we won't be a, a very, you know, globalist America. Oh, Madrid has fallen. No, not globalist. I mean, uh, you know, we won't be uh, as interventionists in world affairs, but... The, com the syndicate threat has hit us from Central America and might hit us from Eastern America. So whatever uh, weakens the syndicalist alliances and threat, we are on that side. So we're not going to actively, you know, go do the fighting unless we're attacked. Um, unless, you know, this is a special case because we were prom promised uh, mutual protection and the great co prosperity s sphere so we have to you know uh, keep our promises like Japan and our allies came to protect us and now we went uh, to China to protect them uh, we will of course uh, take this army back to American soil as soon as our operation is finished as when our you know goals are are uh, reached, we won't you know waste any American lives on uh, on uh, another country's soil for no reason. So yeah. Uh, all right. So we're okay. This is still going great. We're breaking them hard. Um, so I'll uh, hold up around now and I'll wait for the moves to, yet to end and at the end of April I'll do an attack from the coastline towards the city and uh, nice we captured Jinan it's a good stepping stone and then we'll finish this fairly easily 
Um, yeah, Germany's holding strong. I wonder... Oh, National Unity is 80% for France. We can check current wars. Second Weld Creek. Oh, yeah. Commune of France is 89% towards capitulation. So, if Brest were to fall, it would probably end. Yep. And uh, it's not looking great for the Union of Britain either. Okay, got our research. And hmm. Let's do some decryption because we cannot uh, check on what other countries are doing focus wise. Okay, at the we're at the end of April. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna concentrate majority of my force down here and I'm going to attack this section here and take all of the units off of that and place them there so now all my units are moving all like capable units are moving to that side of course you know if there's no if there are any you know supplies they're not moving that's great. Um, Japanese friendship, of course, of course. So let's join the Rika Gaku King Yusho. Now that we have good ties both with both business and political uh, with the Japanese Empire, we should seek the establishment of a branch of Rikagogo Kenshio here in California. By working with the Japanese, we can help improve our own research, potentially improve theirs as well. Of course. Now, this is what we wanted. This is going to boost our research a lot. Great news. Ooh, Russia destroyed the Turks and Empire. Nice. Well, not, I mean, not nice for us, but nice for them. What? Cuba has landed on the Union of Britain. The Entente make another invasion. Whoa. Crazy. Italy is holding strong. Its German attack has slowed down. Carlos Spain has won. Oh, Germany looking to separate. I guess Dover. Alright, are our troops in position? They seem to be nearly. So let's just push on now. And, uh. See if we can, you know, get a successful op going. If not, worst case, uh, I'll try to micro more and, you know, get our men across. looking good though yeah it's looking pretty good let's just see uh, how the rest goes okay crossing the river here these sides nice Nice, nice, this is good, this is very good. If we finish king, that's gonna ease up a lot of the pressure on our allies. And yeah, we won't be contributing to the fight in Siberia against Russia. That would be too big of a commitment. We have other things to take care of. We'll just help. Uh, the China theater. Oh, Italy might be going on the offensive sometime soon if this goes on like that. And the, uh, I think the Entente is trying to, yeah, they're trying to exploit the situation. Um, 
This is a really bad situation for the third international. Oh, there's an invasion at Brest. If that is successful, that might finish the commune of France. We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see. Okay. Wars going on around the world. Liberia attacking during Middle Africa. Supplies are low here. See, the offensive is, is, is going really successful. Troops are transferring as more supplies are available. We might be encircling Nanjing completely if this keeps up with the success. Uh, I haven't. Yeah. I didn't expect this amount of of a uh, good operation. This is like uh, surpassing our expectations as a military operation. Uh, far greater success than we expected. In our wildest dreams. Very quick, very swift. And uh, we will get there to help our allies soon. Once Nanjing is finished up, then the rest will be very easy, except for these mountainous areas. But we'll we'll make do. So Austria is sending us volunteers, and they're fighting against Russia. They're not actually they're not that far away. Interesting uh, situation there. Uh, very precarious. Forest deploy. Okay, the Mongolian cannons joined the fight. Uh, this is not good for us. Because we aren't even finished here. That means fighting against another enemy. It's a bit too much, but well, not gonna join that fight right now. Because I want to finish this up first. At least this section, and I'm gonna join that fight as a courtesy okay so we're uh, connecting the lines in a bit good timing some of our allies are evacuating. Yep, the front line against them is forming as well right now. This is... Oh, man. This is a huge mess. And here I was hoping I could encircle while all our allies just left uh, that southern pocket. Well, at least while they're busy there, I'll be creeping up behind them. Trying to get a, as much as we can territory-wise towards Nanjing. This might open up a good front against Russia f later for the alliance, however. <laughs> because the Mongolian Canada, they're fighting with Tibet. All Tibet is losing. Doesn't matter, they have Bataan. They have some troops invested there. A big attack from here, I don't think they'll be able to take it from all fronts. Uh, we'll see how... Yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Okay, so we connected a part of the line here. Um, it's looking good. But we need to be a bit quick. There are a lot of troops there. I wish we'd caught them. How is the war here going? A lot of pressure on Switzerland. Yeah, it's not. It's looking worse and worse for the Union of Britain. Okay, let's concentrate on our efforts. So, uh, yeah, we're reaching a stage where they have more troops than we do. And that's why I want to make a pocket here. Let's see if the battle order can do it. 
I ran or not. Uh, I mean, I would love to actually, but not sure if readjusting the line massively will help because a lot of the troops are moving around. Okay, I'll pause the attack. So what we need to do is this. We need to narrow the force down. And I'm going to cancel the attack order. I'm going to tell the army to redeploy around, along this line. I'm going to concentrate a huge force here. Then try to break through these two provinces. That should do the trick. And I'll break the front line right now. We have three factories. Hooray. So let's build some infrastructure. Um, let's up our forgotten areas. We want the US to be well advanced on all fronts. So at least five infrastructure everywhere matter where you are. Okay, so we are here now. I'll pause. So we'll do this. Um, I'll hit from here. From here. From there. Here and here. That'll tie most of them down. Papa's Polite sitting the southern flank. Infantry Division sitting the northern one. So, so this pressure from three sides should help us uh, surround these units. Okay, they're surrounded. So now, what we do is... This is the fun bit. We select this front line and just capture. Because they're not going to have any supplies. Uh, they're surrounded. They're gonna die. There's no way around it. This is an insane front. I'll join 